Why, hello, it is Amy Taylor. I'm an independent demonstrator um, with Stampin' Up! now for my 22nd year, and I'm doing my best to be better with my lives. Um, so I am on on Thursday, 2 o'clock. The goal is to be every week at 2 o'clock. Um, next week will be a recorded video that I will share because I will not be around. But we're here today and so I'm excited to share some things. I'm going to go ahead and flip my camera over um, so that you can see the things I'm going to share. And hopefully we're not as blurry. I've noticed that my last few lives, I'm just a little blurred. Not quite sure what's with that. So, but I want to, before I get going on my project, want to share just a couple things. The first is that the last Thursday of every month, I am doing a free online class. Um, the watching is free. If you want a free make and take with all of the papers that are cut for that particular group of projects, um, it's a matter of placing an order and I'll have links both on my blog, justalittleink.com, which is here as well as um, on my Facebook page that you are on right now to watch this live. Um, and there'll also be some links within my YouTube video that will be posted after that free class. So I always load these lives and that free class on my YouTube, but I've got some, I've got the dates sitting here, which you can see what those are. Um, so fun stuff. Those are things I don't share anywhere else. They're only on that live and again, and it's any order. You don't have to order the things I've used in that project, but then that is mailed to you. You get a tutorial, um, a PDF tutorial sent to your email after you order. Um, so it's a lot of fun. And so just excited to share those. I've done um, two of them. This will be my third one, the end of August. I'm also doing a um, something new. I've been doing some mystery stamping um, on the third Tuesday of the month. So what I'm doing is I'm shifting it up just a little bit and I'm going to do what I'm calling a stamp along. And it is using some of, we're going to start stamping along with um, the card layouts that are in our catalog and there are some in the new mini. I'll show that in just a moment. Anyway, we're, the first one that's on the upper left, that is what this layout is. Um, the layers I've got all this stuff listed. It's all on my blog under my calendar and it's the best way to RSVP. I do that on Zoom and so all you need to do is um, re um, RSVP and I will email you a link so that you can join me live and I'm thinking it'll be less than an hour long but you bring your supplies and we will create together um, this layout and it doesn't have to be, I say that here, you can use different shapes. And so that's going to be fun. I'm going to get that out of the way. And then I want to point out that the new mini catalog starts next month, September the 4th. If you have ordered from me in the last year, you've gotten one of these or will be getting one of these in the mail. Um, and so be on the lookout and I'm soon going to be sharing some projects out of some product that's out of that catalog. So I'm going to get this out of the way and get going. Enough chit chat. So I got this fun project. Now currently this bundle is not available for purchase, which is awful. Right now they're showing an estimated in stock date of September the 2nd. Um, so we're hopeful that it's going to be back in stock by then. If you were fortunate to have already gotten this, awesome. But in the meantime, I'm going to share this, um, be watching my online store to see when it shows up. And it is just so much fun. So this is using a hybrid embossing folder. And so I'm using the greetings from the stamp set. This is changing leaves and I'm using the embossing folder. I'm also going to be using some shaded spruce cardstock, some pebbled path cardstock, some basic beige cardstock, some copper clay cardstock, and some gold foil cardstock. And I wrote down all my measurements and then left them in the other room. So we're going to be doing this without. I'm using some blooming pearls because they've got some beautiful gold um, pearls that are in here. And I think they go with the colors I'm using. I'm going to be using our brand new 
wow metallic um, embossing folder or embossing powders this is the gold rich um, and some blending brushes and the uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine so and I've got the additions toolkit which includes um, the tray comes with some tweezers which are extremely helpful when you are um, holding things, especially with ribbon. I found that be very well. And then a brush so that you can brush your embossing powder out of the tray. So get that out of the way. I'm going to move my stamp pad out of the way for the moment. By the way, I got these in here. This, um, this, the embossing folder and the die set are what come together. That's the hybrid because you can cut out an embossed set of leaves with this die set. So we're going to put this out of the way. I'm going to grab my folder. And it's important that you are putting your ink on this side. So this is the side that has the um, Stampin' Up. You're going to open it. And I'm going to grab out my couple inks here. I want my copper clay. I'm going to do that one first. I'm going to add a piece of scratch paper underneath. The glass mat works really well for this as well. I'm going to grab my brush. I'm going to roll it across. And then what I found worked really well was to come kind of just down at an angle. And then when I'm done with this, I'll just take this into the sink and rinse it out in the sink. I'm going to scroll across, set that out of the way. I'm going to grab the one that I had my shaded spruce. Our inks are water-based unless otherwise noted. This out of the way. So shaded spruce, all of our classic inks are water-based. And just in case I'm grabbing anything over here, I'm doing the lighter of the colors first so that I'm not bleeding into my stamp pad. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to scroll across this way. And scroll across here. And I'll put a link for shopping on my, in my uh, comments to this video, to this live. So that if you haven't got my hand out of the way, but i got to hold that down. There we go. So. I found that was the easiest way to kind of get a mix of colors. But that way you can um, order if you ask any questions you might have. I'm going to take one of my basic beige pieces of cardstock and I'll put those um, measurements on my blog. Okay. Line it up, fold it this way, and then I'm going to grab, I'm going to pinch it, and I'm going to grab my machine here. Grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine. You do need the full-sized machine because the die or the uh, folder is just too big otherwise. So you need plate one, which is on the base plates. Lay it here, and then, and then I'm going to put plate four on top, and this is for those folders. It's kind of important to have that extra thickness, and then I'm going to roll it through. And it's important that the um, hinge of the folder is going into the machine first. And it pops when it comes out the other side. Set that out of the way. And we'll open up, and we'll see what fun we are opening up. So you can see that when I did that, isn't that fun? We'll set that out of the way. So when I did that, I end up with some multicolored leaves, but not ink on the back side, other than a little area where it overflowed, which I think is beautiful. So I've got this ready to go. I had created something very similar for my thank you notes for last month. So I have a piece of Pubbled Path cardstock that I'm going to back on the back side of this paper. We'll see if we've got enough tape 
in here. I'm thinking I'm going to run out of stamp and seal. Uh, we may be about done with stamp and seal. So it's just big enough to kind of come in here. I know that my pebbled path is a four by five and a quarter. So I think that this basic beige, and I have two pieces of the same, is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth because it's just small enough to have a slight border around. So I'm going to set this piece aside. That's for the inside. I have just a half a sheet of shaded spruce cardstock scored in the middle at four and a quarter. I'm going to grab my bone folder. Score that there. And then this can go on the front and I'll just grab my liquid glue because we have managed to run out of stamp and seal and I have some in the drawer but I don't want to get up to get it so we will use some liquid glue liquid glue is an, a great option not messy let's see I think yeah I want it this way you decide whichever direction you want well, let's see here get this on the front Okay, and then slide open. Okay, and that would be pretty all by itself. But I think I need some other little elements. And so I've got just a strip. It's I think about two and a quarter by one inch of our um, copper clay. It's one of our in colors from um, last year. I'm going to come across here and use my embossing buddy, which comes in that additions kit. And then I'm going to use some Versamark ink. You do need a, an ink that is going to have a longer holding pattern, and so it needs to not be water-based. So I'm going to grab an a uh, stamp and I'm going to choose to use the thanks. I keep the little cover from the stamps in the, um, well, this may be too big, but we're going to use it anyway. I'm going to use this to emboss. Hey, hi Kathy, so good to see you on. So I'm going to stamp it in the middle. I've got a really cute stitch die that comes in this bundle, which I think is fun. So I'm going to ink up my Versamark. I'll clean my stamp later just because it's easier that way. And this is where that tweezer is going to come in real handy for when you don't have a big piece of cardstock. So I'm going to hold it here. I'm going to open up my embossing powders. So I pour across the top and tap off. So do you find you use a lot of fall stuff or do you skip right to Christmas? It's kind of my big question. So. Heat, heat this up so it might get just a little noisy. bold thank you out of that and then I need to pull the die set out and so there's a few stitched elements in this one I liked this oval stitch and so I'm going to put it on here and then I found that 
the um, post-it um, cover tape works so well when you need a little extra grip when you're running it through the embossing machine. So I come across, grab a little over here, over here, and then I'm gonna pull out that machine again. See if I can lift it without moving that off. This time I need plate one and two, and I'll need my cutting plates. So I've got those sitting here. I keep one that I don't cut on just find it's easier to see through, otherwise it's not so much. And then I'm also, while we've got everything sitting here, if I didn't set it all on top of it, which I might have, I've got a piece of gold foil paper and I wanna cut a leaf out of that. And so I've got it's kind of this, like this one. I had one that was more filigree looking and I just like this one better. I'm going to line up in here, run it through the machine, and we should be close to having a cart almost done. Like so, get that out of the way. And we'll have to pop that out, which is pretty simple to do. So, I'm going to get my scraps out of the way. The nice thing about that post-it tape is that it's just like post-it notes. Stampin' Up! does not sell that. So let me grab my Take Your Pick tool. I've got my uh, piercing tool on the end of this one to help release those out. pieces here and then I'm going to grab my scrap paper well actually no you know what I've got my um, silicone craft sheet which is a better option when I'm going to put glue on the back side of this so I'm going to grab my liquid glue and if I goober over it's not going to be a big deal because I can clean up this mat. You know, some people use a, a, a dauber, which works really pretty well on this as well. What I wanted to do was just add this, kind of almost offset. Um, I'm going to come over this way. Just to kind of layer it in. Kind of liked how that looked. And then I want to put a couple dimensionals on the back of my greeting. Let's see, I think I still have a couple on here. I only need two. Like so. And I will line it up so that I can grab Ink. It's always a different depending on where it lines up, where you want it at. I think I want it over here. Sometimes you don't know till you get it done. And then on this piece, I'm going to just come in. We've got a few stamps in this stamp set. Um, I'm going to take my leaf. maple leaf and then I really liked there was a greeting in here that says um, I couldn't have done it without you and I thought that was a good one for the inside as well so I'm going to put that on first and let's do them in the two different colors since we have that out and I'll take and use I couldn't have done that without you Somewhat standard. You ever do that? 
it's going to look great when I have the leaf next to it. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to grab my leaf, ink it up in that copper clay, and I want it coming down at an angle. Like so. And when I put it on the inside, and I decided just to keep it the same size as the basic beige that was on the um, front, just for simplicity. So I'm going to come in, put just a bead of glue around the inside edge or the backside edge of my cardstock. Open up my inside of my card and line it up. And like that, we're going to have a very simple thank you card. And I think you can make a lot of these. Could be a really pretty even Thanksgiving card. So. And that is all I had for today. Super quick, super simple. Hopefully you liked it. Um, I'm going to flip the camera back and tell you, I hope I keep trying anyway. Let's see here. There we go. I'm so glad that you took time out of your day to join me. Um, if you haven't um, started following my Facebook page, I'd appreciate that. And if you haven't followed my, my YouTube channel, I do occasionally put other videos out there and I've had some videos for a number of years. So appreciate every bit of support I can get. And I'm again, glad that you joined me today. Um, have a great rest of your day and a wonderful weekend and we'll catch you next week. Bye for now.